improving identities. And this is how we're going to do it. You should have these answers. Don't you have these answers already on your slide? And so what you're going to do is you have it started here. And then what you're going to say is, do I know any of these trig definitions or Pythagorean identities? Do you see a trig definition here? What's cosecant equal to? 1 over sine of theta. Yep. And that'll be equal to. And this is a trig definition. I'll want you to write, you can do this right now, write trig definition. One of the trig definitions that cosecant theta is 1 over sine. Well, algebraically, what's going to happen next? What's 1 over 1 over sine? Sine, isn't it? Okay. Now, here's the part you're going to struggle with a little bit. Every time you do these, you're going to pick a more complicated side. You're going to pick probably this side, more complicated. So pick this side, and you're going to manipulate it. You're going to change it. But you have to hold this other side. You can't do both sides. You can only do one side because we're trying to show that this side equals this side. So this is always going to be the same. Now, when they're the same, you can just say right-hand side. Huh, got my sides here. Left-hand side equals right-hand side. Proven. Done. And that's a real simple proof, but you can see how a proof like that's going to work. So see if you can, well, you've got this already, so I'm just going to do it. So which is more complicated, the left or the right, probably? The right is more complicated. So I'm not going to touch tangent theta. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to keep it the same. Sine theta times secant theta. Sine theta secant with the trig definition is 1 over cosine. And that's a trig definition. Okay. So then I'll just go sine theta over cosine theta. And what is sine theta over cosine theta? Tangent theta. There's another trig definition. So you have the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. Proven. What do you think? Can you do them? I think you can. So here are some techniques. One is work one more complicated side, but only one side. Only one side. Another technique is the trig definitions and the Pythagorean identities. Sometimes you'll want to get common denominators. That's very common that we'll run into. Uh, Pythagorean identities, we'll use those. And probably the most helpful thing, okay, so um, let's do a couple of quick practice ones. Cosine secant equals 1. Try these two. Did you get to a starting spot for this one? What did you do for a first move? Cosine, obviously you did this complicated side. Cosine theta times what? Oh, secant, what's that? 1 over cosine theta. Good. And that is a trig identity. Or trig definition. We call it trig definition. Okay. Then... You can use alpha. So what's cosine divided by cosine equal to, algebraically? One. So left-hand side equals right-hand side. Proven. Not going to happen very often. It's that easy. But it's, a good, it's, it's a good start. Uh, what did you do with... What did you do with 88? Which one did you use as the one you want to hold? 
left. Yeah, you're going to keep this one and change these. So here's what I did. I kept cosine theta over sine squared theta. Cosecant I changed to 1 over sine. Cotangent, cosine over sine. And then I just multiplied them out, and you got it. So this is the trig definition for both of those. And left-hand side equals right-hand side. Proven. Oh, proven. Square root of proven. All right. Any questions on that? Trig definition. Uh, boxes have the answers. That's to remind me. Yeah. All right. So now go down to the homework. And the homework is designed to be five minutes per identity. Some of them go faster. Some of them go slower. You try number 92.